Hey guys and welcome to the buying view. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. At the time I'm recording this, it is 12.40, so I'm recording it um, the night before, if you want to say, um, for Tuesday. Uh, so it should be Tuesday morning with the time coming out. I'm not really too sure when you're watching it. Either way, either good morning or thank you either way for um, uh, clicking on the video. I'll be at work while this video is uh, up and I wanted, I wanted videos to be up for you guys. Um, so with that said, welcome to the buying view. Hopefully you guys are all doing well, in this particular video, we're going to be talking about Dennis Zakaria. Uh, I know a lot of people are uh, in for him, uh, and I mean in for him coming to Bayern, and also uh, a couple saying he's not good enough and this and that, and it's fine because that's an opinion and that's the whole point of this fan um, channel and fans in general. It's okay to have a different opinion. You don't have to like someone. You don't have to rate someone or want someone. With that said, um, this is a Christian folk um update now uh Fabrizio romano um put out a video i'm not sure when but a couple uh, days if not week ago um saying about manchester united i know manchester united are heavily heavily linked with this player now the only reason um i'm not saying i, I believe christian folk over them whatever i'm not doing that but it's christian folk obviously has sources at the club you know his his um Twitter handle is uh, CF meaning Christian folk and then Bayern and then obviously even in his uh, logo is Bayern you know what I mean uh, and then yeah so he retweeted a um a tweet from Mia Samia saying uh, Bayern are serious again about Dennis Zakaria he's a player mentioned who can play a defensive midfielder and centre back now i think that's massive and you might not understand what i mean by that uh the fact um and also by the way miss and mia the twitter account that put this out were actually um quote tweeting what he what, what he basically said uh, and then he retweeted it so you know he doesn't mess around here you know you go you go from his tweet 16th of january 14th of january missed a couple of days from the 14th to the 13th okay fair enough there's going to be a big one in here in a minute i know for a full fact that he does not always tweet so he only tweets when it's true and even in his bio it says here head of football at sport build and build sport i tell you true or not true he's not put tr uh, not true to this so i'm going with it um 110 i'm going with it i would love dennis Zakaria at the club um very young player can can again versatility it's massive it's absolutely massive what are the two positions that i would like of course one of them is a right back but the other two would be center back and a, and a midfielder this guy can do center back and a midfielder simple as that you know what i mean now he probably won't have to play center back but you know in this world and all of this crap at this moment in time that we have to live in in this covid world you know it's not just going to go overnight we're gonna have to live with this now um you know this this stuff is still going to happen day in day out not that it's a good thing by the way i'm not saying it's a good thing obviously not um but again uh Bayern munich are serious again about dennis zakaria he's been uh, mentioned the player has been mentioned uh around Bayern basically who can play as a defensive midfielder and a center back so basically if you don't get that uh, what it's saying is that Bayern are looking at him they like his versatility that he can play different positions and he's not uh, uh, a one-trick pony if you want to say again I like the player I think he's fantastic also he's somewhat done it in the Bundesliga you've got to remember he's playing in a Borussia Mönchengladbach team it's not the best team in the world is it no. Did they smash us? Yes. But it's not the best team in the world. Simple as that. So people were just going off of his performances. It's same with Ginter. People are like, oh, no, he's not good enough, blah, blah, blah. Well, he stopped Lewandowski. Do you see what I mean? It, it, it's, it swings in roundabouts. And again, it, it's all fine having an opinion. There's nothing wrong with uh, someone having a different opinion to me, even me. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just going on one football app quickly to um, search him up. So he obviously Swiss international. He's 25 years of age. So a fantastic age to, to bring him in. I believe it would be on a free uh, in the summer. Again, I apologise for keep saying it. I said it in the other videos yesterday. And actually, this video should have gone up yesterday. So I apologise for that. Um, he 
um, Dennis Zakaria, as well as various other players, I generally believe us, we're going to buy a couple of players and then we will be bringing in free transfers. Don't get it twisted. So that's why Bayern are looking at it. And I made a video, I don't know, three or four days ago, saying that Bayern are in the market right this second to look for players that will be free um, in the summer. And not buy anyone in January. Maybe spend a little bit of money in Jan um, in um, the summer, or if we, we believe the big signing, I'm not sure. And then go and get some players. I don't know who they're going to be. Uh, I generally couldn't tell you. But uh, Dennis Zakaria is definitely a player I would take. 25 years of age. Um, you know, goals in the Bundesliga two, assist one, plays 15 out of the 19, uh, matches passing accuracy of 90% in a Borussia Mönchengladbach team, by the way, they're not the best team in Bundesliga, obviously, um, I, I take him, generally, 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 I take him, and again, I keep saying this, people just go off the Dennis Zakaria that's played either for his national team or for Borussia Mönchengladbach, you don't know what he can do in this Bayern team, he might flop, let's be realistic, he might flop, you know what I mean? You guys might be true. Uh, and I'm not saying that you guys are, are blind or anything like that. The people that don't want him. At the end of the day, I thought when I seen Sabitza come into this team, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. You know, Tottenham wanted him. All of these other clubs wanted him. Let's go. He's played out under Nagusman, this and that and this and that. And look how that's gone. So we'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, like I said, at the time of me recording this uh, right now, um, I mean, the time it goes up, I'll be at work. There will be another video out for you guys in a couple of hours. Uh, and um and then we'll push on. If there's anything, obviously, when I get home, I'll make a video on. Uh, but honestly, thank you so much for the constant support. You guys are generally insane. And, um, yeah, we just keep pushing with it. So I'm hoping for a big, big, big summer. Generally, in, you know, in personal life, hopefully we can get out. And um, even in this, you know, this channel, uh, I'm hoping it's going to boom. And I'm hoping that I can make videos saying that we're going to sign this player and that player. You know what I mean? So... Again, let me know what you guys think. Would you take Dennis Zakaria at Bayern Munich? Would you want him? Uh, again, I believe it's going to be on a free transfer. So we'd only have to pay either an agent fee if there is one. And then his wages and signing on fee. Would he be demanding big money? I'm not sure. Uh, there are obviously various clubs in for here, Manchester United. I think City were looking at him and then various other um, clubs around the world. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys uh, later on for another video. Till then, thank you for watching. Miss Amir, peace out.